What's up guys, Andy here, welcome back to episode 3 of this Let's Build a Modern House. This is where we got to so far, we've got a giant living room, dining room, kitchen, master bedroom over here, and some further bedrooms with a garage. Uh, what we don't have is anywhere to have a pee as soon as you come in the house and some sort of formal entrance, so those could be quite good to solve, I think. Some sort of entrance way here would be good and maybe a little path coming across that's yet to be solved We've got a laundry room in there and a garage and some bedrooms here. We're gonna try and put a roof on today a um, Couple of things though. Um, I've decided to move this dark oak up a little section as well I think to be kind of at that height is gonna be a lot better I just don't like it down at that height. So I've got a command here, which I've just been practicing There we go. That's it all ready to do um, we need some support for it as well. So these are problems to be solved. The house is going to look very ordinary so far. Uh, there's just no way about that. I think I've got too many support columns as well. So I want to see what this looks like without uh, too many support columns. So I think that looks a lot better. So we're going to take these ones out. What I can do is make a little voxel sniper stencil for this. So slash B S T fill. Let's call it line. And um, we're going to go one two, three, and that means we should be able to place this down and just remove some of these. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, I meant to make it out of glass, didn't I? Oh, that's not working either. Um, hold on. It was working and I needed to put full, not fill, so it replaces the blocks. Boom, there we go, so that is three big windows like that and then maybe a little door there would be good now actually i think it would be better if we had this window or this column here like that and then this was a big window like that yeah this is going to be a bit better so that the door is going to be at the far end like that so that can get changed so just swapping a few things over here maybe that's a good place for the door yeah, I think I like that for the door right there. Kind of a door just there, and that means that's going to get turned into glass. That's going to be glass, and that's going to be glass. Good, 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 good. And then here as well, I think there's just way too many, absolutely way too many of these. So we move that one, that one, that one, that one. I guess that kind of works out okay. So boom, 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 boom. I like that, maybe have a little door there or something. So it's a very big house. I still think there's gonna be something built here, I think. I just think that it's a good idea to have some more rooms here, maybe an office, maybe some little bathrooms or toilets just there. So that's to come later on. Let's go for a roof. I put some blocks here. The house is gonna look very, very ordinary to start with. Um, slash slash set, is it 44, seven, I think? House is gonna look very, very plain, very ordinary. I want that, I want it to look very, just ordinary, okay? And then we can have fun making it look a lot, lot better. So for example, here, what I want to do is put some uh, iron trap doors. As you can see, an iron trap door is completely white in this texture pack, but I want to set them uh, going up the way. So slash slash set, one, six, seven, maybe five. That be a five it is. There we go. I think that looks pretty cool. So what we could do um, is do that absolutely everywhere. So I've got to put kind of wool exactly here where I want want all this to happen. I guess we need them all over here as well. Boom, boom, boom. So let's grab all this like that. In fact, we need some over here as well. What happens at the corners as well is a problem to solve as well. Hmm, definitely a problem to solve. Um, anyway, so let's just put all these in in one go. Uh, slash slash replace wool with 44, no, 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 1675. Gives you that little bit of definition on the columns and I like that. And I wonder about the inside. It's very subtle, very subtle effect indeed. I guess this is since this is a door, we could start to actually turn this into a door, something maybe like this. This is very rough just now, really a rough um, representation of, there we go, 
or something like that, hopefully. Very rough representation of the house so far. None of these blocks are kind of final. It's all just slap things down, and get the main building built, and then we'll go back later on and put some, some cool details down. Just kind of experimenting with doors and shapes and colors, things like that. Um, yeah, I'm not too convinced about that either. Those doors looking a little bit strange. Never mind. Okay. Cool. Uh, on the inside as well, we could put some of these trap doors as well. Let's just have a look and see what kind of effect that gives us. Ooh, do we do it here? I think that's going to be all kitchen, so we probably don't. Uh, definitely here, though. Um, and on the inside corner, it's going to be quite awkward to do. So maybe leave that corner and think about that later on. So maybe the inside is not doable. We shall see. Um, it's going to be six. There we go. Oh no, it's not. Gonna, it's going to be seven. Oh, slash undo. Um, four. Four. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Got a little bit of definition on the inside. I do like that. It's very plain and white so far. This build. Let's pop a roof on on the other parts of the build as well. So I guess we're going to go from here. Quite far, <laughs> all the way over to here. So the roof might stick out in different places as well. We're going to make it fancier. Uh, let's just get the basics done just now. So I'm going to do set 44.7, more roof, and over here as well. What I think I'll do here is just stack it some as well. Slash slash stack. Let's go for 20. See how far. That goes. That'll do for now. Don't need to be super accurate right now. And with this one as well, slash slash stack. Let's go for 60. See how far that gets us. That was nearly right as well. Very nearly right. Boom, 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 boom. And then, boom, 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 boom. How are we doing? It's looking really plain, which is what I was after. Uh, believe it or not, looking very, very ordinary. There we go. Now the kind of the magic happens, he hopes. <laughs> now we can hopefully start to build up a bit of level of detail and interest in this house just by manipulating it in certain ways. Okay, what should be first, I wonder? One thing I've just spotted, I've covered up the courtyard area, which is really stupid. So this needs to get hacked out here, somewhere like this. I think that's about the right sort of hackability range. And then let's just bring this over and then decide where to finish it. Maybe there would do. So that gets taken out as well. And these courtyards are going to have palm trees in them. For sure, I do like the way that looks so far, kind of clean and crisp. Um, we do have another one over here to do as well. So that just gets taken out. Uh, I build in a strange way in Minecraft. Some people build in a very complete and kind of finished product way. Um, each detail kind of finally complete and perfect as they build. I don't. <laughs> uh, my builds usually look like a complete pile of poo. Uh, and then they start, slowly, slowly start to evolve into into better builds. For example, I really don't like the decking at all, and that door is just terrible. So I'm going to play about with this just now. Let's see what happens if I take out this and set this slash slash set to quartz. See, immediately, immediately that looks a little bit better. And I just think the decking... I think the decking could go down maybe even two blocks. So let's start moving this. Slash slash move two down. Keep that there. And we're going to move it to as well. So two might be too much, but what do you think? What do you think? The idea is to have some steps to come down to the decking from here. Two, three, four, something like this. Boom, boom, boom. Let's just go down again. Boom, boom. So you step down to it. There's no support for the decking right now, but um, it's decking. It doesn't need support. You don't need to keep reassuring it. There we go. Uh, that's a difference. Mm, 
But the reason I've done that is just to provide a little bit of... Uh, I can have a ledge here. I think the build looks a lot better when it's got this kind of ledge to it. Um, and here as well, um, what is what is going on? Why can't I place blocks here? <laughs> ah, have I got... Oh, I've got a line. I've got already got a line of... Uh, thingies on there. That's fine. That's good. Got a line of trapdoors on there. What do I think of that? The stairs looks kind of chunky. The stairs look kind of chunky, not gonna lie. Um, I'm having a bit of trouble with this decking, that is for sure. See, the idea was this comes comes round the build. Like that. Hmm. Hmm. I definitely think this needs to come out as well, this overhang. Let's come out a little bit with this. Boom. Uh, slash slash stack four, something like that. Nice overhang. There we are. That's a bit better. We could even go a bit crazy and go six and start to maybe cut some slots into it as well. If we go one, sorry, one, two, three, four. Kind of like that, quite like that. Let's see what happens when I stack, stack all this across the way. Slash slash stack ten. Ooh, is it gonna fit? Is it gonna fit? Uh, gap of two. One two. They're gonna fit. Um, so we've got a gap of one at the end. I think. That's starting to look a little bit better. It's not absolutely awesome yet. Not absolutely awesome yet. Stairs a bit chunky. It's just a question of playing about with some shapes and hoping that things kind of work out. Let's make these a bit floatier. Um, let's make them out of this stuff here. So, um, like this. Quartz, quartz slabs. So they just kind of float down a bit. What was I doing there? Um, That's kind of a bit cooler. That's a lot cooler. Ooh. Quite liking that. Quite liking that. Do we have some stone that would surround the decking? I don't know. Stone bricks? Something like that. Is that what we want to do? We don't have the, the house kind of floating, but the decking kind of just supported in something like this kind of brickwork. I think something with half slabs would be good. So I may just go for this normal uh, normal stone brick. Where is it? The stone bricks here. Don't know why I've chosen stone brick monster egg, but never mind. Um, well, stone brick monster egg looks very different from stone bricks. Wow. They're very different. What? This is like shutterboard. What has happened? Uh, hold, on, hold on, hold on. I got this. I got this. Stone bricks. Right? Stone bricks. <gasps> stone bricks have changed? No one told me this. Uh... But these haven't. See, is this going to be sensible to kind of stack all the way down? Um, I don't know. What's this going to look like if we just embed this really into... I should just be doing it here, into the C. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. And then just stack this along. Is this going to be the kind of supportive thing I want? around my decking. Slash slash stack uh, 40. Mm, possibly, possibly. Let's turn the corner. Can I see what it looks like when the corner is turned? Oops. And we'll just stack this across as well. Slash slash stack 5. Hmm, yeah, I quite like that. that. There's definitely scope there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is pause the camera here. Uh, pause the camera, pause the video here. I'm going to go around the decking and just put this kind of stone brick effect around it. Move it down a couple of blocks, play about a little bit, um, and see if that improves the build. Be right back when all that hard work is done. As I was starting to build and try and solve this problem, I come up with this design. I think this looks a little bit better. What do you think of this? This is going to kind of continue 
all the way along. We won't have all this. I think it just looks a bit cleaner and kind of more modern to have this kind of thing just floating on these kind of pillars here. I thought that would look kind of cool and it's even possible to put some little maybe dried dead bushes or something in here like that all the way along. That's I think what I'm going to go for. I don't think I'm going to put a little lip on it like that. I don't think. I think it just kind of looks cool when it's just like that. Yeah, so that's what I've come up with as kind of a solution to the problem. And, and it's going to have this little bit of glass all the way around like that. And I think I might make it a little wider as well. So that is probably my solution. I'm starting to like the way that looks. So I'm going to continue that around the whole build. Okay, it's been quite busy off camera, just doing some of the boring jobs that you don't really want to have in an episode. I've changed this brick down here to Dark Prismarine to make it the same as the, the bricks underneath the house, or the blocks underneath the house. We've got this kind of support mechanism going all the way around the build. Same over here, we've got this kind of support round on the balcony. I put the palm tree right through this uh, decking here, and we've got decking absolutely everywhere all around a squint block there I'll fix that later on so we've got all the decking done what I've also done is put this kind of lip as well and these little um, now I've done that I need to repair that these little white bits of iron trapdoor stack one like that which just gives that that little bit of definition a little bit of definition right there, which I do like. Um, that kind of just is making this build so far for me. I've left these bits quite plain in here, and I've put these underneath as well. Um, on the other side of the build, what I've got around here is I've put this block in as well. I thought that just rounds off the corners quite nicely, the inter in interior corners or the internal corners. I've also put, let me just show you what I did here, and the, the, the door was like that, and I thought, let's do that on the door, and that just looks 10 times better as well. I need to put some uh, glass in this door as well. Let me do that, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. This one can be the door handle, and I quite like that kind of effect as well, as if the doors are going to slide into each other or something like that. Anyway, so we've got a door there, there. Still got the swimming pool to do. Um, we've got another door here as well. I just think I'd quite like a nice big wall around the place as well. So I think the wall should just come straight up here. Let me just put quite a plain, oh, excuse me, phone, shush. Um, let me put that on silent, there we go. Slash slash stack 30, like that. A nice, big, flat, plain wall. What do you think? Maybe that's a bit weird. I'm just gonna go for that. Let's go stack 38, and have it right over to here. And then let's have another wall kind of jutting through this wall. Something maybe like two, three, like that would be quite good. Now what I'm gonna weirdly do is select from here to here, see if I can punch through a little kind of a hole like this. So slash slash stack 40, like that, there we go. Punching through a little stylish hole like that. So the walls are kind of over overlapping. Yeah, I like that, I like that. Hopefully that is something we shall keep. Let's just stack this a little bit further. Um, a bit further indeed. And let's keep this going as well. Stack maybe 23 would do. Wow, what a guess. Nope, not quite a good guess. Boom, boom, boom. And a little bit of privacy. A little bit of privacy. Uh, we'll work on these kind of shapes as well. Uh, but that's not bad so far. This place will look a lot better when there's decent landscaping and so on. So quite a lot of jobs have been starting to be ticked off here. Um, I think I'll just build this up and then I want to work maybe on kind of a fireplace area. I think that would be quite a nice job to do. Still rooms to add, like little half bathrooms and so on. I think uh, a little, maybe a half bathroom in here would be quite good in this kind of laundry room. Possible to put a little bathroom in there, a little half bathroom at the end of that. So we've come along quite a narrow corridor round into here. Um, and then this is roughly, I'm going to put that block down, this is roughly where I want, um, so we've got K 
kitchen. I guess dining room and then this is living room over here. So some sort of partition would be quite good. And I think the partition would be quite good round about here. Something coming along, something like that. Kind of just a room divider, I think. Just that's an idea so far. But I do want to work with this orange block here, this orange glazed terracotta, because I think it's really rather smart. By the way, I don't have any roots down to this balcony yet from the master bedroom, so that's definitely something to work on. I wonder if I could work it in here, into this kind of bathroom area. Hmm. Or maybe let's just try it for the first time over here. Let's do this. Let's just remove this. One, two, three, four, five. And let's just actually stack. Is that going to be vertical? I thought. How do you make it? Yeah, sorry, you have to go out there to point point down the way. Uh, oh, goodness me. Oops, sorry, my video cut out as I was recording there, but I've, I finished the job anyway. Uh, what I've done is made these blocks in there, uh, as you can see on the inside. I've made them quartz, and I've put an extra layer of these white um, trap doors just there in this texture pack. If you want a texture pack, you can download it from andyzoda.com. So same, same job in here as well. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll just set these to one, six, seven, six, like that. I've got some interesting kind of walls. This is a wall right in between these two rooms here. There's no reason for this wall to stay white. So this could actually change in color to maybe... Should it be this again? I want an orange glazed terracotta. Slash, slash, set. Two, three, six. That might be, oh, I don't know, I'm gonna leave that and, and think about it. Sometimes you have to just dwell on some ideas. I don't know how that looks on the inside. Kind of dark in there, might have to add some skylights into these bedrooms for sure. Um, so that is a possibility to have this kind of cut out put this material in here. I think it's looking rather smart. So I'm going to continue with this design like that. Let me just put a few more bits in and I'll kind of neaten it up off camera. There we go. One, two, three. The fact that's a job done, isn't it? Same thing would be done over here as well. But anyway, I'll do that off camera. I just want to do the fireplace just before we go today. So I'm in here working. It's pretty dark. Let me just let some light in temporarily so we can see what we're doing. Uh, let me just let some light in over here. So I'll fix that roof later on. Now we can actually see. I like this block, jungle wood. I haven't ever used this, these jungle wood blocks before. So I'm going to do that, I think. And this. So it's a room divider come fireplace, something like this. Is this extending too far? Do you know, right opposite the doors is just plain daft. That's a walkway, so that's just stupid. So let's slash slash move three. There's definitely still gonna be enough room for a dining room and a kitchen. Um, so what I want to do is build, I think, this up to the roof and these bits as well at the end to make some kind of crazy shelves right here. Um, same over here. And this is in here is going to be a fireplace, shared fireplace like this. and it can come down from the ceiling by one more block. So this is just my first attempt. You know, sometimes it doesn't go well, first attempts. Um, let's do kind of that and cut away there. I don't know, I quite quite like it. What, are, what, is it, what is it like? Is that too imposing? That's too imposing. Um, hmm. Hmm, maybe these bits at the end are just wrong. Let me to hack these off. That's looking a bit better, actually. Let's just get rid of these. It was just dominating the room and being way too oppressive. And we'll just put a little fire in here and see 
what this looks like. So we need some, I never know what it looks like, nether, nether rack. I think this is the stuff that burns. I need a tool, I need a lighter, which handily looks like a lighter. Boom, 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 boom. There's a little room divider stroke fire. Hmm. Bit weird so far. And then the idea is this can add some detail and some finally some nice structure to the build by coming up. Maybe not quite that high. Kind of like that and being a nice chimney. There we go. Um, maybe it should come up a little bit further. Uh, there we go. Not bad, not bad. Hey, thank you so much for watching this episode. We're getting there bit by bit. Don't forget this place will look a lot better when there's some palm trees and so on hanging around the place. Uh, that'll do for episode three. Episode four will be next week. I'm away for a couple of days on uh, teaching map reading. But uh, apart from that, thank you for watching and uh, take care. Ciao, ciao, my blocks. Be with you. Thank you.